Hey everybody, welcome to the Logan Power Show. It's me, your host, Calvin Logan, and I have a special segment for us here at the Logan Power Show. This is going to uh, blow your mind. Have you ever heard of a fourth grader taking the initiative to say, you know what, I'm going to write my own book. I'm going to put my book in the bookshelf in the classroom. I ain't worried about y'all. I'm going to put my book on there so that you can read me. So when we do a book report, it's going to be about me and not about you. Do y'all believe me? I know y'all going to believe me. But you know what? I got the person here that's going to believe for me as well. She's a fourth grader. Her name is Kyla Schumann. And she's going to talk about her book, The One and Only Birth, <laughs> The Storyteller. How you doing, ma'am? Good. Good. Everything good? Yes. Good. And Birth of a Storyteller is her own personal book, I repeat. She wrote this book and she's in fourth grade. So that's amazing. You're in fourth grade. Wow. You excited? Yes. Good. School's good? Two thumbs up? Mm-hmm. I'm just making sure you know I'm a teacher myself. I know how y'all do. Y'all say, eh, I got it. But like I said, I know them grades is, is stellar. Honor roll student. I know you're doing well. <laughs> so tell us about your book. How did this get started? How did you write this book? Oh, like in class, like sometimes admit my teacher's teaching, I think of things to write about because she's always talking about narratives or informationals. I just think of like um, to write things to write about. Okay. All right. Well, things to write about. Now, birth of a storyteller, something that you honestly put together. Um, what is some of, give me some little snippets of this book or what should people should look forward to when they read your book? I think they should look forward to the, um, my book called All Locked Up because I think it's funny myself because it's like funny because I was going to say a little bit, not too much, but gotcha. it's like some babies that lock someone up in a cage and throw her out. Yeah, that's all I'm going to say. I got you. Nothing wrong. We got to purchase your book, right? Now, how can people get, get your book today? Where do they got to go? Amazon? They got to go to Walmart? Where did, Where's your book located at? Uh, Amazon, Barnes & Noble, but it's online, not like in the store online. I got you. I got you. Well, hey, you know, for me, I know that when you said you was going to write a book, who was your biggest person in your corner? Was it Was it mom? Was it dad? I said, you know what? We believe this book is going to be the number one on the block. Was that the person behind you? Was your parents the one say, hey, go write this book? Yeah, it was my parents and my teacher because my mom, like, helps me with – because she's an ELA teacher, and my mom helps me with the um, writing and corrections, and my teacher does the same thing. Got it. Absolutely. Now, with your book, I see it right now, Birth of a Storyteller, a collection of narratives. It's a creative 10-year-old who loves – let me tell you right now. You love dressing in your own fashions, singing, dancing, playing basketball. Oh, I like you now. Running track and writing. So you mm-hmm. like playing all kinds of sports. Okay, so so is your, is your game that good that I'm going to call you kind up and say, you know what? I'm a big Husky fan. I love girls. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, so you you gonna take us you taking us all the way to the national championship? I'm gonna call Don Staley, in University of South Carolina, and I'm gonna make a hookup. We are gonna get you down there. What are we gonna do? Yeah. Okay, listen, listen, I listen. I, I'm getting it together. I, I'm picturing it right now. The person who wrote the book. I'm gonna go to the final four national championship, University of South. What's your jersey number? What what, what jersey you wear in basketball? Uh, I wore thirty once, and I think twenty one. Gotcha. All right, so number you're a shooting guard, point guard, small forward, power forward, center. What position do you play? I, I'm the second point guard because my brother's first point guard. I'm a backup point guard. Oh, you're a starter. We ain't worried about that. You got your brother beat. You hit the jump shot. We good. We lightening it up. So we know that we're going to claim it, that when you get to the national championship and then you on the screen on Sports Center. And they say, da na da na na we're going to be, I'm going to say like that, that's the girl who wrote the book. I'm telling you, she did it. She's she writing books. She getting paid before she came to college, college, and she got a free scholarship, making all kind of stuff. So since you wrote this book, are you writing any other books coming out real soon? I plan to. Not, I don't know the titles yet, but I just plan to um, write another one. Got it. So when you think about writing, because you have a what we call 
you're a dreamer. Dreamers dream big, and dreamers come up with all kind of things. So with you, what is it that makes you say, hey, I'm going to write this down, I'm going to put it on paper? Um, what was the, the time that you said, you know, I'm going to be a great writer? Was it third grade, second grade, first grade? Sometime that you said, you know what, I'm going to write this, and it's going to be something great. I think it's when it, like, hit, like, mid-third grade. Because, like, then my third grade teacher was teaching me a lot of stuff, and I think that I, I said that I got this, and I started, like, writing it in fourth grade because of corona um, in third grade. We, we just skipped the fourth grade. So in fourth grade, yeah, that's when I started writing. Wow. So you started writing last year. You wrote this book. And now it's on the shelf. How does your teacher feel about you? You got your own book. So, you, so when they say, like, hey, you do a book report, you say, hey, I do a book report myself. She said, what are you talking about? Well, I got my own book. She's like, yeah, she was, <laughs> she was proud. I got you. You got any signed autograph for your principal, all that kind of stuff at school? Yeah, I signed my principal's um, book. Okay, I got you. You ever signed a book to get, a, get an easy A in class? You're like, hey, you know, I did, I did my homework. Let me turn my book in. That's my A for the day. Yeah, I could do that. That's it. Either. No, no, I get you in trouble. I don't get you in trouble now. I'm not putting it out there. But when you're creative like that, people will see your worth. People will see what kind of person you are. Um, I believe that people like yourself, uh, not only do you got something to give, but you have something to give out to the people. Now, besides writing, they, you say you sing. How long have you been singing for? Uh, I'm in chorus now, so I, it started in fourth. I, well, no, I've been singing, I think, since I was toddler, but I'm in chorus now because at our school, it's only fifth and fourth, and I wanted to be in chorus, so I signed up for it. I got you. You're a real good singer? Yeah, and, yeah at church, I sing some solos, but some. we can't go to church anymore. I got you. Well, I understand. My dad's, Your dad what? My dad still goes because he's a photographer. I photographer. Okay, got you. All right, fantastic. And they say you is they say you like running track. Okay, so are you doing like you a long distance runner? You a sprinter? What do you like doing? I'm a, I'm a sprinter. I right? I run the 100 and 200. Fantastic. Well, I'm a coach. I coach basketball, baseball, soccer, and I do. Uh, I've been tasked with track and field. So you're really fast. Mhm. Mm yeah. Some people call me on um, Flo and um. For my nickname on track. Oh, flow joke. Okay. Okay. You, you give him the flow joke, give him the peace symbol as you're running past him real fast. Say, hey, I'm about to eat you real fast. Have a good day. Is that what you do? And I'm gone? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. Well, you know, it's 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 a blessing to know that that you are making um headways. And um you know you're very historic, right? Did you mm -hmm. know that? You know how important you are? Okay, so so princess, since you have a strong mind and reading and writing is some of your strongest points, uh, do you want to do that in college? You want to be a journalist? I mean, something like you know, you talk to mom and dad about like, hey, this is what I want to be when I grow up. Do you want to be a a storyteller for the rest of your life? Is it what you found your niche? Yeah, I have plans when I like grow up. I want to first. I want to play basketball. Then I want to, um, like, for my second job, I want to, like, do writing or track. That's, like, my second things okay. that I want to do. Yeah, okay. that's it. I got you. Now, question. Do some of the, your classmates say, you know, they got a tough paper to write? They say, hey, hey, Kylie, hey, hey, this is me. This is you, it's your best friend in class. Can you write my paper for me? They tell you that? Yeah, so, some of my best friends do that. Just <laughs> so. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Because, like, when you write a book and people do get it, I think a blessing is is that um, you're making a, a pathway for so many. Um, but let's do this. I'm going to give you a minute or two. I want you to talk to that other young person that's your age. It could be younger. Because right now you're 10 years old, right? Yes. So let's okay. talk to another 10-year-old that's watching us right now. And say, for instance, they got a dream. They want to write a book. They want to do some things. And they're not letting age define their moment. Tell them some formulas that helped you put your book 
to Amazon and Walmart and Barnes and Nobles. How did how did that all come? Tell them how they can get through to the next level. The floor is yours. I think um, they I like inspire them because just because like you're young doesn't mean because some people start when they're like older than me. But just because I'm young doesn't mean like you can't do anything. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you heard it first. This young lady here is 10 years old. She wrote a book. She's already making pathways. Uh, she's already her book is available right now. Amazon. You can purchase it today. Um, right now, Kyla Schumann here. She already has her rating right now. We believe that this book, uh, even though it's a great read for you, only 26 pages, not very long. So, hey, listen, this book just got put on, on the shelf was this year. You understand that her parents believed in her and the world is going to believe in her. So keep this name on, on your, on your, under your shelf. It's the one and only Kyla Schumann. Let me spell this name for you. K-Y-L-A, last name Schumann is S-H-U-M-A-N. Listen, I don't take it lightly. I'm honored that you came on the Logan Power Show. I'm honored that you decided to fellowship with us here today. Um, I pray heaven's best to you. Um, I'm looking forward to some other books. Uh, I can promise you this. I will purchase your book just because I believe in you. And I, like I said, I believe in you for myself. And anybody out here who would like to get a book, um, let me know. Email us the Logan Power Show at gmail.com. Uh, I will give a book a, a, a t today if someone would like to get one. Hey, email us today so we can definitely send that copy to you. But I'm going to get a book. Um, and that way I can take a picture put it on social media and say, hey, I got her book. She came on my show, so she blessed me, so I want to bless her. Uh, so we want to thank you again. Um, again, Princess, people who are royalty like yourself, people will see your worth. Your worth is highly above all. You're going in the right direction. Your parents are doing a phenomenal job with you. All I can tell you is this. Don't let anybody tell you you can't make it because you're doing a thousand times greater than what I was doing in fourth grade because I, I had no book on no Amazon. And I truly wasn't as way ahead of the game as you are. But all I want to tell people here is this. Dream big. Let's be big. Well, hey, I thank for everyone who's watching the Logan Power Show nationwide, worldwide. We're making history today. A fourth grader here at the Logan Power Show. She's, on, she's doing it big. We're doing it big. Thank you for watching. We'll see you soon.